Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're checking out Olight's first hatchet from O-Knife. Pretty interesting, plus a new O-Knife. This is one that I'm actually really excited about. First, we'll talk about the knife here. This one is called the uh, Chital, I'll say. C-H-I-T-A-L, your guess is as good as mine. All right, so here it is. I've already been uh, playing with it for a while, so I put it back in the pouch. This one is super clean, just really, really simple flipper. All right, see that's how it is spelled. C-H-I-T-A-L, all right, interesting. All right, some really nice textured G10, not too grippy, not too slippery. Um, perfect lockup on this guy. This is a liner lock, does have a flipper, super smooth. Just a really simple design and is actually extremely ergonomic. No issues at all. I don't even feel the pocket clip. This is a deep concealed clip on this guy, which is very nice, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. It's already got some pocket time. I just love the blade profile. Just simple. This one is in D2. And this is part of their summer sale, all right? So uh, Obi specifically is doing a summer sale. And this stuff is specifically from Obi, not to be confused with, you know, like Olight. Uh, their main website i'll probably do a video separate because their sales are a little bit uh separate they're doing something for summer as well so we'll talk about that in a couple days here but uh super super cool all right so let's talk about this hatchet a little bit i did take it out played around with it for a little bit put it back in the box here just to show you you know the box is different obviously the uh the o knife uh packaging is a lot it's a lot more you know it's colored smaller it's simple right you get the pouch the whole thing but this obviously comes in a, a different uh setup here so this one is called the Octical A1. All right, so there's some specs right in the front. Uh, 50 CR15 MOV steel, G10 handle scales, and the weight's 25.9 ounces, or 734.5 grams. All right, if you're anywhere in the world besides America, <laughs> you'd probably go with grams. But anyway, so here we go. We have a foam insert. We do get paperwork just like we get for they're regular knives, so we'll the one here from the uh, the other one. All right, so open this up. It gives you, of course, specs on stuff. So pretty simple. All right, there you go. Some warnings and some dangers. We know this stuff's sharp. All right, so we pop this out of its packaging here. It's just a foam insert. All right, nothing else in the box. So this comes with a really nice sheath set up here. Does have a tech lock style attachment here. All right, roll that forward. You can unlock it. All right, obviously you could change the position, the angle, all that kind of stuff, which is super cool. Um, so we have two straps. Pop it there, pop it there. And then this will kind of rock out. All right, just like so. And when you're opening it, make sure you hit your, uh, your tripod <laughs> like I did. Um, of course, you know, most of you guys aren't doing stuff like this behind the camera, so it's not usually as awkward as I make it look. But anyway, there it is, all right? I uh, did play around with this a little bit, so you can see it's a little scratched up. <clears throat> this thing does come ridiculously sharp out of the box, all right? So O-Knife here, right? Octical A1 there. So this has a hammered back. Um, I did not use the hammer back. Obviously, you know, if you're going to be using that, put the sheath on there. You don't want to be swinging a sharp blade towards yourself or anyone else. Uh, it is removable. If this is something you're not into, you're not going to use that. This adds a tremendous amount of weight to the top of this, all right? It does change the balance completely uh, if you take that off. I don't mind it. It's kind of cool. It's the whole point. It's another feature of this. It'd be good for, you know, maybe some, you know, tenderizing meat. It does have kind of a a gnarly grip pattern on it. It's not sharp by any means, but it will, you know, obviously grab. It's not a flat hammer, so just keep that in mind. Depending on what you're hitting, you could actually, you know, mar it up. Um, pretty interesting design though. We have G10 scales, very large scales. It is very comfortable in multiple grips, especially uh, choking up. So if you want to just use this like a regular blade, so you're shaving, you know, some bark off of a stick or something like that. Um, you know, lots of different uses here. There is a pry bar on the bottom. This is the only thing that I'm not super fond of, um, just because, I mean, it's not sharp, sharp. Uh, this would obviously be good. You'd put the sheath on and you can use this. You do have quite a bit of uh, reach there and leverage. So if you want to, uh, you know, pull out nails or something, you can certainly do that. You can use this to open crates, all kinds of stuff. So this is actually a very heavy duty pry bar, but I'm not a huge fan personally of anything kind of pointy on the bottom. Specifically, if I'm hacking away and stuff, I don't want this, you know, accidentally 
rubbing on myself, my wrist or anything like that. So even though it's a very neat feature on its own, I prefer this entire setup without it. Um, you know, it's just personal preference, but, uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it's super cool. All right, let's pop this back into its little home here. So you can see it's kind of, it looks like it's closed here. You have to kind of rock this in, all right, just like so. And then you can put those retaining snaps on. So again, let's check this out. With the sheath on, the pie bar is actually super, super useful. And with the sheath on, you can still hammer, which is totally fine. And you're obviously completely safe from that edge. All right, so pretty interesting. It's very cool to see them expanding so much. You know, obviously they're a flashlight company. Originally the O knife thing is a different series, so it's kind of, you know, sub-branded because they do the edge tools and stuff. Um, love their folders, love their fixed blade, by the way. They have one fixed blade out. If you haven't seen that before, I believe that's also still available on Obi on their uh, website. But, um, but yeah, definitely digging the new folder. Super cool, like I said, just clean, simple. You know, budget friendly, comfortable, just works well. I'm a huge fan of D2, and like I said, it's lightning fast. That's really what we're looking for in a knife, right? Something that's nice and sharp. This one happens to also be nice and pointy, all right? So if you're into your, you know, very acute points, that will certainly uh, make you happy there. But on top of the new folder, they have their hatchet for the very first time ever. So it's kind of cool. I mean, who knows where the future is for the company, what other kind of products they're going to you know, dive into, but it's nice to see them constantly expanding. I, I give that a big thumbs up because, uh, you know, people want all kinds of different gear. So why not experiment, try some different things. Love everything about this. Again, except for that pry bar end, wish that wasn't there. It would be even better without it. Um, I suppose if it's something that really bothers you, you can always hack it off if you have the right tools. Uh, but I don't, I don't want to modify it like that. I'll, you know, who knows, maybe one day I actually want to use the, uh, the pry bar, you know, at least it'll be there. And I did reach out to the company and they offered a discount code for you guys, which I thought was really nice. It is capital C, capital L10. So CL10 will get you 10% off anything that's not actually discounted already. So anytime there's no sales or even during a sale, things that aren't on sale, at least you can save the 10% if you are interested in getting it. So that's it for now. Let me know what you think about the hatchet. Um, you know, if you feel the same way about the pry bar that I do, what do you think about the profile on it? Um, it's very well made for what it is. It just depends on whether you like the design or not. But um, the folder itself, I mean, I, I have nothing, nothing at all negative to say about it. It is awesome. Like I said, what else can you want? You know, besides a, a sharp and pointy pocket knife that's super comfortable and works well for a reasonable price. <laughs> that's pretty much it, right? That's what we're all looking for. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.